what's up guys Joel here so this here again is another Apple watch so I asked you guys on Instagram Twitter and Facebook if you liked some coverage on this and you guys wanted it so let's go ahead and get to it now if you recall I covered the 38 millimeter silver aluminum case with green sport band Apple watch while this is another Apple watch sport it's going to be the 42 millimeter space gray now the Apple watch sport comes in 10 different models a white blue, green, and pink sport bands with a silver aluminum case in both a 38 millimeter and 42 millimeter. And the last two models will be the 38 millimeter and 42 millimeter in a space gray aluminum case with black sport band, which again is gonna be this one that we're actually taking a look at today. So if you guys wanna see a full unboxing and setup, I will leave a link down below in the description to a video covering just that on the Apple Watch Sport. So both of these are going to be identical with the same hardware including the Strength Ion X glass which is also found on your iPhone 6 and 6 Plus. The only difference is going to be the color and of course the size. So let's go ahead and compare these two. Now on the right side we get our digital crown and side button on both the 38mm and 42mm. Flipping over to the other side we get our speaker and microphone. Now when it comes to dimensions, the 38mm and the 42mm is actually going to be the height from top to bottom. And as far as width goes, the 38mm is going to be 33.3mm wide and the 42mm is going to be 35.9mm wide. So a little wider and a little taller of course. They're both going to have the same depth, so you're not going to see any difference in that. But as far as the casing, the 38mm is going to come in at 25 grams and the 42 millimeter is gonna come in at 30 grams. So of course you're gonna be seeing a different in size from the screen, but as far as thickness, there's not gonna be a difference in the two. Now when it comes to bands, both of these are gonna have the same type of bands. They're gonna be floor elastomer bands that are gonna be flexible, light, and soft. They're both gonna come packaged with two different size bands. So for example, the 38 millimeter already had a small and medium size band attached to the watch. And in the box, it came with a medium slash large band. Now on this 42 millimeter, it's the opposite. You get a medium slash large band already attached to the Apple Watch and then a small slash medium band in the box. Now something to note is the fact that the 38 millimeter bands, of course, won't fit the 42 millimeter band. But I went ahead and tried it out just because I wanted to see what my space gray Apple Watch looked like with a green sport band. And I have to say, this color combo is pretty sick looking. But like I said, where you do connect the bands, it is going to be a little smaller. Now I also went ahead and tried on the 42mm band on the 38mm just so you'll see. And also just so I can see the color combo. And I have to say this silver slash black combo looks pretty dope as well. But you will notice that it sort of sticks out on the sides because the 42 millimeter bands are just going to be too big for a 38 millimeter. But I wanted to show you how it looks like with the different style bands because you are able to switch them of course. You can always buy different color bands and, and hopefully we'll find some third party bands here in the near future. Now of course you will notice the 38 millimeter compared to the 42 millimeter. It is quite small and I find it ideal for a woman or those who have small wrists because personally using it for a couple of days, I found it quite small on my wrist. Now looking at the 42 millimeter, the space gray one, it is not much bigger, but it does give it more of a fitting look on my wrist. I actually like the fit and size of it. I do wish it was a little bigger, but maybe on the second generation. But other than that, besides the size of it, functionality and everything's going to be the exact same from the 38 millimeter over to the 42 millimeter. Now this is also going to be the same for the Apple Watch and Apple Watch Edition. The only difference is going to be the actual material used to build it because the Apple Watch is going to be made out of steel and also has a sapphire screen with a higher price point starting at 549 and the Apple Watch Edition is just ridiculous and I don't even want to mention it. Uh, it's just expensive ten thousand dollars that's how expensive it is now speaking of prices this apple watch sport it will actually retail you for 349 dollars for a 38 millimeter and 399 for the 42 millimeter but like i said functionality wise 
everything's going to run the same. It all comes down to size and what you prefer for your wrist. So if you like a smaller size watch face or if you want a slightly larger size watch face, uh, you can go ahead and pick up a 38 millimeter or a 42 millimeter. But other than that, that's going to wrap it up for this video. If you do want to see more coverage on the Apple Watch, go ahead and click on the links down below in the description. I have a couple of other videos covering the Apple Watch. And if I haven't covered something on the Apple Watch, let me know with a comment down below of what you'd like to see in a future video. Now, if you are interested in a comparison video between something like the Moto 360 and the Apple Watch, go ahead and leave a like on this video. And also, if you did enjoy this video, go ahead and hit that like button as it not only shows support to the channel, but it also lets me know that you enjoyed this video. Also, if you're not yet following me on social media like Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, Google+, all of my links are down below in the description. I'm really active on Twitter and Instagram and also Facebook, so go ahead and follow me on those. That way you can have sort of a say in my next video uh, because I ask you guys questions and I go from your feedback. And lastly, if you feel like being awesome, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. That way you'll be notified when I come out with all of my future videos. But other than that, appreciate your support very much. And uh, I'll catch you all on the next one. All right? Peace.